uh, thank you, Captain Eric, for that great introduction. I'll tell you, of all of those things that, that I've done in the Navy, uh, the, the most proud that I've ever been is to be a part of the crew of the ship that you see uh, at Pierside here next to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, Madam Ambassador, distinguished guests. On behalf of Admiral Harry Harris, the Pacific Command uh, Commander, and Vice Admiral Matthew Nathan, the Surgeon General of Navy Medicine, it's an honor to be with you here today and to welcome you to our opening ceremonies. The title Pacific Partnership was aptly chosen, and uh, I think the purpose of the missions is primarily to build partnership. Uh, many things are accomplished, uh, as you know, but to, the chief goal of the missions is to build partnership both for those host nations who are gracious to, to, to uh, support us, uh, but for the crew that, that serve aboard Mercy, which is often multinational as, as, as it is now. In building partnership, we build capacity. And in building capacity, we build the ability to respond to the unknown challenges of the future. Now, I will tell you that USNS Mercy was, was purpose-built as a combat casualty care platform. And uh, those who have toured have seen the casualty receiving area. You've seen that there are 12 operating rooms aboard. Uh, and it has served in that capacity along with, it, with its sister ship, the USNS Comfort, uh, very honorably. But it was the lesson of the tsunami in 2005 that taught us that the additional potential of, of the hospital ships was to support humanitarian relief assistance and disaster relief missions. And in fact, um, most of the service for Mercy in the last 10 years has been directed to accomplishing those humanitarian assistance and, and disaster relief missions. And those missions have taught us the power of cooperative health engagement across nations and based on the universal foundation of promoting health and sharing these lessons, and in the process of process creating trust and cooperation. And that is essential to our security among nations. As these missions have occurred, there have been powerful lessons that have been learned. And I can tell you, having visited some of the sites today in which cooperative health engagements are occurring, those lessons are off to a great start. And we look forward tomorrow during our seminar to learn the lessons that the Fijian military force learned in their response to the disaster of Vanuatu. Fifteen years ago, as I was training for combat missions aboard this ship, I could have never imagined standing in front of you today and to see how mature these, the Pacific Partnership missions have become. And it's a thrill to be here in Fiji today to know that those lessons will be so greatly applied and that our crew will take many of those lessons back with them. These missions are truly multinational. Multinational host nations and multinational partners who come together on the universe, universal spirit of, of health promotion. As the commander of Navy Medicine West, the majority of the U.S. Navy personnel who are aboard Mercy come from our facilities in Navy Medicine West. And as you can imagine, uh, that, that has an impact on our day-to-day -day healthcare operations. But I will tell you that it is worth every bit of that, of that effort. It is so gratifying to see the joy in the faces of our personnel who are working and realizing those impulses that brought them to medicine in the first place. I think, I think all of us who have, have participated in Pacific Partnership feel like we've gotten truly to our roots in medicine, in the true sharing of skills and knowledge for the benefit of our patients. Uh, and, and that is a true joy to behold. And I think that the joy that I see in the patients who come aboard and who are seen in our remote sites is exceeded only by the joy of those caregivers 
who realize, who realize an, uh, a gratifying success in their personal goals. Our goal is to establish trust and to establish a legacy of caring, a legacy that will far outlast the visit of the mercy here in Fiji. Mr. President, thank you for the opportunity to visit your beautiful country, to be friends with your, with your people, establishing relationships that will live long in our hearts and that will strengthen, only strengthen in the years ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Fiji, Ratu Apeli Nalatikau, Honorable Minister of Defense, National Security and Immigration, Honorable Minister of Health, fellow ambassadors, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Captain Engel, Rear Admiral Gillingham, Captain Merritt, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to extend a welcome to everybody and to give you our warmest thanks for joining us here to welcome the United States Naval Ship Mercy in its 10th year of Pacific Partnership Missions. A very warm welcome to Rear Admiral Gillingham and to the Mercy crew. We are so pleased that you will be able to spend time with us to experience the incredible beauty and hospitality of Fiji. And I would like to say a special word of thanks and welcome to my diplomatic colleagues uh, from the other countries in addition to the United States and Fiji who are part of this mission, including Australia, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, and I understand with the broader Pacific Partnership Mission also France and the Republic of Korea are partners in this mission. The biggest challenges that we face today, whether it be climate change, natural disasters, degradation of ocean resources, transnational crime, terrorism, disease pandemics, are challenges that no one of our countries can successfully tackle alone. We can only be successful if we work together. And this is at its core what Pacific Partnership is about. It's about demonstrating the U.S. commitment to our Pacific partners, to strengthening friendships, and building interoperability needed for us all to succeed to address these very important challenges and to achieve our common goal of maintaining a stable and a secure Pacific region. I'm very proud to be speaking to you uh, with this ship, the Mercy, in our background. Uh, really, the name Mercy says it all. This floating hospital has, for the past 30 years, sailed the world's ocean delivering assistance and compassion. It's provided support to people, as you heard, affected by the horrendous, horrendous Indian Ocean tsunami in 2005, and to the people of the Philippines affected by the Typhoon Hainan in 2013. And as we saw recently with the awful devastation of Cyclone Pam, Fiji plays a vital role as a center for coordinating disaster response. And as the Republic of Fiji military forces demonstrated with their relief support to Vanuatu, Fiji is an important contributor to our collective humanitarian assistance and disaster response efforts. Therefore, it is natural for us to partner with Fiji on this mission to enhance interoperability. And as our military and our medical personnel work together uh, and learn from their, each other, their work will also benefit the local communities, supporting health, education, and improving local infrastructure. The personnel who are part of this operation will work hard over the course of this mission during the next two weeks. But there will also be time for fun activities, including performances by the Mercy Band, and also I understand uh, basketball and rugby games with local teams. In the four months of my tenure here as U.S. Ambassador to Fiji, Kiribati, Nauru, Tonga, and Tuvalu, I have been constantly reminded of how much is at stake in our cooperation. And this mission really is evidence of the unwavering U.S. commitment to Fiji and our other Pacific partners. I'm very confident that through our joint efforts, Pacific Partnership 2015 will be a big success. So thank you again to the wonderful U.S. Navy Ship Mercy team, to our 
Fiji military partners to the Ministries of Defense and Immigration, Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Health, and to all the others who work tirelessly to the highest standards to make this a reality and so that we will achieve the ambitious goals of Pacific Partnership 2015. And Finally, and most importantly, thank you to the people of Fiji for your warm welcome. Thank you so much. Anaka Vakalebu.